In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Snap Story app. First install the Snap Story app from Play Store. It is also known as Safe Story. Once you've installed this app, open it. As soon as we open the app, we find an alert message about going through the tutorial. But, since we're already doing the tutorial, we're going to simply dismiss this alert message. This screen is asking for few permission, which are extremely important for this app to run properly. So tap on Grant Run Time Permission button, and allow all the required permissions. This is the main screen of the app. Since this tutorial is demonstrating the full version of this app, you might find some difference in the way this app works. The next two screens are for displaying photos and videos saved from this app. This is the navigation panel, here you'll find lots of interesting options. We will discuss about it later in this video. The upload icon at the top right corner is for uploading images from gallery to Snapchat Story. We've created another video discussing about this feature in detail. Now, the first option in this application is of screenshot. Tap on the screenshot option. This is just a permission message. Tap on start now to accept the requested permission. You can see that a floating icon appears. This icon is a draggable and clickable button. To capture a new screenshot, you just need to tap on this button. The button will disappear for a second and then it'll reappear back again. You can find your screenshot in photo screen. Just swipe down to load new images. You can click on tap to stop to stop the screenshot option or you can also stop it from notification panel. Now we'll try the screen recording option. Tap on the floating button to start the recording and tap it again to stop the recording. You'll find all your recordings in the video screen. Now when you select any of your video, you'll find a trim icon at the top bar of the screen. Tap on that icon to start trimming your video. You can play your video by tapping on the play icon. There's an option to grab image from video and save it in photos. Now we'll learn about Snap Plus option. This option is a combination of both screen recording and screenshot. You can record your screen and capture a screenshot at the same time. Snap Plus may not work properly in all devices. It is because of heavy memory required to simultaneously record screen and capture a screenshot. Now we'll learn about Snap Burst option. This option allows you to automatically capture new screenshot after every fixed time interval. This option requires heavy background processing and battery consumption. We don't recommend to use this option unless it's very important. To start taking screenshot, just tap on the floating button. To stop taking screenshot, just pull down your notification panel and click on stop button. 
It'll take some time to process all the images and save it. Once the processing is done, the floating button will reappear, ready for another round. There's no guarantee that the screenshot will be captured at the exact time interval. The speed of taking screenshot varies from device to device. You may notice that this option also captures screenshot of notification panel. This images are unnecessarily taken. One way to deal with this problem is to delete such images. Or the better way is that you can stop snap burst by shaking your device. Some devices does not support shaking of device, hence you can stop snap burst from notification panel. Floating button can easily work outside the app environment. You can close the app and still be able to capture a screenshot or record screen. You can remove the floating button by tapping on the cancel icon from notification panel. Now we are going to learn about the settings available in the navigation panel. The very first option is, change button size. This option allows you to change floating button size according to your preference. The next option is, rescan gallery. This option allows you to quickly scan for new files. After scanning, new media files will be visible in other gallery apps. Recording method option is useful for those devices, where screen recording doesn't work properly. We recommend user to use the default method. The next option is, set time. This option is specific to snap burst. Set time allows user to set the time interval between two screenshots. We recommend user to keep at least 5 seconds of time interval, for more accurate result. The next option is, Enable Notification. This option will send you notification when a new screenshot or screen recording is saved. Remember, you can open Snap Story app by tapping on the notification. The next option is, Hide button while recording. This option will hide the floating button when screen recording is started. Since the floating button is invisible, you'll have to stop recording from notification panel. The last option is, Mute Audio. This option allows user to record screen without audio. The best thing about these settings is that it will work similar for every options. For example, if you set the recording method as method 2, 
then method 2 will be used in screen record and in snap plus option. This app is designed to specifically work on Snapchat, but you can use this app for general use as well. There are lots of other features that are yet to be added. The future updates can change some of the mentioned functionality or user interface. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, then please comment below.